Well, Dr. Nancy Zimfer, newly appointed SUNY Chancellor, former president of the University of Cincinnati, welcome to HealthLink on Air and Essential New York. Thank you. I'm delighted to be here. I understand you are on a whirlwind tour, I 64 am. campuses. Yeah. Tell me the purpose yeah. of your tour. Well, I have to say to you, the immediate reaction was, are you out of your mind? But <laughs> I have regained my senses, and it is exactly what I thought it would be, an opportunity to introduce myself and uh, to get to know people on the various campuses, to spend some time with the campus presidents who are so critical to the leadership of our campuses, to meet with students, faculty, uh, staff, community leaders, and to get a feel for how the State University of New York as a whole can really be beyond the sum of its parts a really extraordinary organization and transformative for the state of New York. Very good. I love that word transformative and you know um, it make, makes me think you were here this morning for a groundbreaking at I the was. Kennedy Square. Tell us about that. Well it's very exciting. It's exciting for Central New York and all of the partners who have made this happen and I particularly want to acknowledge President David Smith of Upstate Medical University and President Neil Murphy of ESF for their one wonderful partnership in this endeavor. This is really capitalizing on an industry that exists here that can be much more comprehensive. So it will do several things. It will bring research to the bedside. Mm -hmm. uh, it will also create a pipeline for a skilled workforce, and with that skilled workforce, create even more jobs for Central New York, so and, bravo. And you know, we all know that the jobs are very, very important, but I think right. the education focus on it is very important too. And I love that marriage. It seems like it's leading us from the one to the next. That's important right. for New York State. Well, it's important for everybody. This concept of an educational pipeline from prenatal through early childhood, elementary, secondary, post-secondary, and multiple careers, which I'm told our future generations are going to have. Mm -hmm. It's all about gluing that pipeline together. Well, I know that it's important because we lose a lot of students. They go through our fine schools here, then they go someplace else to work. Right. Right. Is this part of the focus to keep them here? Well, I do think everybody's worried about brain drain. Uh, I think some of our students will uh, go into the world. They'll probably end up coming back to New York. But yes, we want to hold as many of our highly qualified graduates to this region, to the state of New York, as is possible. To do that, you need great jobs, you need this resource search capacity at the undergraduate and graduate level, and that's what the Biotech Center is all about. Well, while you were speaking this morning at the groundbreaking, you used the term sticky capital, and I love that. Can you describe yeah. that to us? Well, it is a fun concept. It really stems from the notion that institutions, particularly universities, are, are viewed as anchor institutions for their community. They're not going to move their corporate headquarters. They were grown here. They appreciate sense of place. So the vernacular became, you know what? Universities are really sticky capital. They are going to stay to help this region grow and development. And, and frankly, we couldn't live without them. And you know, it seems to me it makes it that much more important to invest in them. If we know they're going to stay, we don't want to invest in things that are leaving. Let's exactly. invest in what's going to stay here. And it creates the reciprocity of a, a great city, a great region, and great universities working hand in glove. And that's what I've seen today. Very good. Well, Dr. Nancy Zimfer, new SUNY Chancellor, we thank you so much for stopping by HealthLink on air, and good luck on the rest of your tour. Thank you.